G'day golfers. Well, do you struggle with shanking? So this video is not going to just help you eliminate that dreaded shot, but it's also going to help you with your awareness of your ball striking. And that's the real key to improving that club face and ball contact. Welcome to Aussie Golf Press. Oh, there's a shank. A beauty. So why did I shank it? And that's typically what's gonna go through most people's minds if they hit that shot. Why did I shank it? What happened? What did I do so drastically wrongly in the golf swing to create such a terrible golf shot? Well, the answer for me is I meant to. Really? Yes. I'm aware of where the club head is at impact and I can change it. Can you? Probably not. So what we're looking for with this exercise is to help you be much more aware of where that club head is and basically get rid of those really bad miss hits that can happen. And it might be off of the, the hosel, off the shank, like I just hit then. Or you might be a player that hits a lot of shots right off the toe and, and the ball goes nowhere. It feels really terrible through your hands and you're wondering why. But stop asking yourself that question, why? It's, there is no why, just that it happened. Uh, a lot of people ask themselves, right, well, did I stand too close or too far away? As long as you are comfortable, I'm fine with that. Check it out on video for sure. But more than likely, you're comfortable standing over the golf ball. And then other players think, well, maybe to open the face too much, or I came over the top, or I swung into out too far. I've seen players do all of those things and not shank it, and I've seen those things happen and a player does shank it. So you're barking up the wrong tree. It's not about your swing path, it's not about your club face angle. All it is, it's about awareness of where that club head is at impact. Now we did a, Steve and I did a video on curing your shank. It was a very popular video and a lot of people thanked us and, and contacted us thanking it. It helped, really helped them to get rid of their shanks. So you can have a look at that video up in the corner here. And basically what we did was we got a half filled water bottle, put it right next to the golf ball there like that. And it's, it's a barrier. It's an incentive to help you get the club in a different spot. So I set up to the golf ball there. And if I come down here and shank it, that means the club has drifted away from me. Don't worry about why, just that it did happen. It's like playing darts and, and throwing for the triple 20 and then you miss the board. You ask yourself why it just happened. You need to get better at being more accurate. In this case, getting better at getting the club in a consistent spot on the golf ball each time. It's a skill, not necessarily something technical. It's a skill that we're all trying to develop and get better at. So you can see there, I don't have a lot of space next to the bottle, but if I drift out, hit it out the hosel, I'm gonna hit the bottle. Even if I heal it slightly, I'm going to hit the bottle. So it really is a barrier, it's an incentive to stop that club drifting away. Very effective because no one likes to hit the bottle. I tell you, I've, I've seen a few people do it. It makes a hell of a sound and a bang. And there we go. And that's pretty easy for a lot of golfers just to focus on missing the bottle. Even a beginner can do it. And it's really effective in creating a good habit of getting the club in a better spot. So it's a really effective drill and super for the range. But, you can't take it on the golf course, can you? Not in a competition anyway. So the reason that we're, we're doing this video here today is to update that and give you some more options. And as I said at the, the beginning, help you to really be aware of what's going on and improve your ball striking from there. You can grab a couple of tees. So if your golf ball's there, you can just pop a couple of tees on the ground and there, that's feedback. You've got to try to swing between the tees, miss the tees altogether and hit the golf ball. But today, we're gonna to use the pen. So I'm just going to, there's a line on the, on the golf ball there. I'm just gonna put a mark on that golf ball. Just really test your coloring in skills here. And that mark is gonna go down the bottom because that's your strike point for an iron. You need a dark color, blue or green, like I have there. Now, if I hit one, and I'm gonna to try to hit this out the heel so we can 
really demonstrate what's happening for you shankers. That felt like it was slightly out the heel. There we go. So you can see that marks out the heel. So that's instant feedback on what's happened. And this is where we can really use that information to help you to improve. So mark up another golf ball. Now we're gonna head down the rabbit hole of differential practice. We're gonna do something different. Keep doing the same thing over and over again and expect a different result. Basically, that's the definition of insanity. So we need to do something different now. So the difference is I'm gonna to try to hit this out the toe. It's the same spot right down the bottom there. I'm not changing the setup, exactly the same setup. I'm comfortable over the golf ball. I've still left that first blue line there. Now I could definitely feel that was out the toe. There we go, a long way out the toe, a little bit low as well. But that's what it's all about. It's doing something different, changing the pattern because that's all shanking is, it's a pattern, it's a habit. And we need to change that. And I don't want you to do that just once. I want you to do it several times. See if you can hit five in a row out the toe. If you hit one out the heel or shank one, then start again. So that's your goal. And you can really be effective in helping your awareness of what your ball striking is doing on the range here. Make your next range session much more effective, much more valuable than just hitting normal shots, just trying to hit it out the middle. It's really important for you to get away from that because every time you try to hit out the middle, nearly every time, you're hitting it out the heel. Even your best ones, if you're shanking plenty of shots, that means a lot of your good ones are coming out the heel. You just don't know it. You're just not aware of it. Right, let's leave those two there. Again down the bottom. And we're rushing through this just because, you know, I just want to spend a few minutes with you, but I want you to really take your time with this. As I said, see if you can get five in a row out the toe, if you're a shanker, if you're a healer of the shots. If you tend to toe a lot of shots, then I want you to do the opposite. I want you to see if you can hit five heels in a row, not right out the hosel, but in this area here where I hit this one, see if you can get five in a row there, you hit one out the toe, which is your tendency, your habit, you're gonna find this very difficult to do. Start again, see if you can get five in a row. Right, let's go for the middle now and reward yourself with a few shots trying to get it out the center of the golf club at the end of the range session. That felt pretty darn good. There we go. I think I had the line on the ball just a little high up, but I was very happy with the centralized strike of that because basically I, I showed myself that I could hit it out the heel on purpose, I could hit it out the toe on purpose. Therefore, finding the middle is actually pretty darn easy. But you've got to go through that process, that differential practice, get away from the bog standard, hit it at a target, hit 10, 12, 20 shots in a row with the one club, mix it up, hit different parts of the club face, and really heighten your awareness of your ball striking because that's the true path to improving it. Being able to hit different parts of the club face is really going to challenge you. You're gonna find this extremely difficult if you haven't done it before. It's gonna challenge you, heighten your awareness, and therefore improve your control over your ball striking. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, then please hit that thumbs up, comment below, is this helping you out in the golf course? We want to cure those shanks and those toe strikes. Let us know how you get on. And if you know of someone that's struggling with their shanking or towing shots, then please share it to them. Send it to them. We want to help as many golfers get rid of this dreaded shot as we can. Now, if you're interested in improving your driver ball striking, then pop into the corner here. We've got a great video for you to really help you with your ball striking with your driver. Same principle, but a little bit different because it is a driver. Are you the best golfer you can be?